Hello, and thanks for joining the session. Today, we're still working on that podcast website rewrite. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we were playing with some SVG bundle stuff with Twig. Um, as I recall, we actually ended up having some issues with it, uh, mostly in that this logo, um, I think there might be something wrong with the SVG itself. Um, nothing was working exactly like it should have been, um, mostly with like scaling and things like that. So what I wanted to try and do uh, before we get too far here is, is try and open up this logo in Illustrator and see if saving it out again will fix some of the issues. So I'm going to get this going here and let's see if we can find it. So put this under where huh. Alright, Simonson code. No. Not podcast. There we go. Text on path will be flattened. Hmm. Let's see. Ow, interesting. That might explain it. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to look and see what our live website looks like. because it's possible. <laughs> wow. All right, so the, the actual original logo looked a little different than that. So let me see if I can open the original here. Dropbox. Podcast. Podcast logo. Is there, so PSD. Um, logo just mic. Let's see here. So that looks flattened. That looks flattened. Looks flattened. And that looks flattened. Interesting. Let's open the PSD. So it's possible. It's possible this has just always looked like this. Um, and if that's the case, then I don't really want to do anything weird here. So let me rescale it so it actually fits on the artboard. So I'm thinking that might be what the actual problem is here. All right. I'm gonna save this. And yeah, let's see what it did. We do a diff. Hmm. Didn't do anything, which is a little surprising. What if I add a square? Oh, ah, because it wasn't under. Well, that makes sense then. All right. So I, I guess this was apparently not ever under uh, source control. So let's do a diff um, against the one from the other repository. Let's do, let's see, it's assets. Let's do SVG. All right. Um, that's actually a considerable amount of changes the two. So I'm going to see what happens if we just reload the page now with a different SVG. Uh, but I do think we need <sighs> to start watching. And once that's built, all right, let's reload. There we go. <laughs> it looks awful. Uh, yeah. That's awful. 
not really sure what more I can do with this because this um, you know that might have something to do with weird stuff we were doing in our CSS um, classes h6 block changing my mind. Let's go ahead and try and see what we can do here. Uh, let's go to shared. Which logos do we have? Otherwise, maybe it's time for a new logo. <laughs> believe that I wouldn't have this original version somewhere. Um, I mean, I guess I can, but that podcast with proper case. Duplicate. Into its own file. Yeah, it looks pretty awful. pretty disappointed that I don't have the the originals of these. I'm sure they have them somewhere, but I'm not going to spend too much more time looking for them. Uh, podcast 1000. Yeah, with oh, here we go. It's 160 by 160. So it might just be this that I'll have access to. So what I'm going to do is cheat and see if we can do um, just do <laughs> uh, I guess this doesn't matter because I'm going to change it anyway. And then Tracing, tracing, tracing. So what I need to do is trace these into lines. Um, object, live trace. And normally I'm used to seeing that up here. Don't know why I didn't come up. Essentials, classic. There we go. All right, so let's do expand preset uh, black and white logo. Ah, but it lost the circle behind. Uh, let's see, do I care about that? Maybe not. So what I can do is just make a circle.
sure there are fancier ways to do some of this stuff, and I'm just not used to them yet. But I'll send this to back. This way I can now, there we go. So I have a white circle with the traced content on top. It doesn't look exactly like it's supposed to, um, but I think I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, I need to change the artboard. So it's exactly the right size. Exactly the right size. And then save it out as an SVG again. Uh, export. I'm just going to place it over the old one, but I need to make sure it's an SVG. Replace. Awesome. At least now it looks more or less right. So I, I can come back to this at some other point and actually fix this logo if I really need to. Um, okay, so we're going to go H. Let's do. Uh, 64, see what that looks like. No. H32. Okay. And with our original version, what we actually had was this logo um, at these different breakpoints um, actually floating to the left. So it wasn't even while it was here. So anything after medium. So let's see if we can do that. How are we doing that before? I don't know if that was a position sort of thing. Header. Okay, so the button is, I don't know if I was actually using the button, because I wasn't using uh, this thing, so these divs, these two ULs. So it actually was out on its own. I wonder if I can do something like that with the flex stuff. Better. So it's position fixed, left one, top one. And let's look for fixed. Okay, and then it looks like there's pin. Uh, pin left, pin X. That's interesting. Fix sticky. I guess I can pin it and then use margins. So we want to pin left, pin top. All right, so. Let's do this for anything large and higher. So let's do 
large pin left, large pin top, and do large relative. It's not paying attention to that. And I think that's probably uh, related to the position of the parent. Um, so let's do absolute. Okay. All right, and then I can do Make sure, yeah, it sticks with it, and then uh, large uh, margin margin left four and large margin top four. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need to do this instead for. Um, Possibly some other things. So let's do large H sixteen. Medium. I think it's because the width is so wide, so much wider than it maybe should be, that this is going to be more difficult. The responsive resizing here is smaller, leaves less uh, edges than we had before. Uh, for example, when we were at, say, 1100 on the original design, uh, we had a, a fairly large gutter on each side. Uh, we don't have that anymore, so I'm wondering if I should just not worry about that. We could do uh, medium 16, and then we could do these at, say, XL2? No, 2XL? We just had XL sizes. really no good way to do that. So I think the default size is here. And tailwinds might be the problem. So let's do XL and then maybe let's do 2XL. I think I need to restart watch at that point. Added here to Excel. I maybe I wondered if maybe these couldn't start with numbers, so let's do XXL. Hmm. 
Okay. Then we need to switch. There we go. So let's see. Uh, even that's going to be pretty tight. Wow. I might just have to let this design go. Or this design aspect. So I'm not sure that it actually provided a lot of value. All right. So with the whole header, we might want to have a little more breathing room. Um, so maybe let's do or for the whole navigation. Uh, MD flex. So once we switch to the flex design, let's do MD uh, Y uh, padding Y four. There we go. So now we have a little bit of padding there, which is good. Um, once we get to these smaller sizes, uh, we can probably do H8. Let's try that. We probably always want to have some padding up there, so let's actually do P, PY4 always. There we go. Okay. So we fixed this problem for the most part. It still doesn't look quite as nice as I would like it to. Um, I think we can probably uh, make the logo a little bigger on maybe large. Um, let's do LG H32. So if you're on a bigger monitor, you might as well see a bigger version of the logo. But maybe let's switch it to XL. There we go. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, let's see, were there... I think we need a, a right padding here. So let's do um, let's medium when we get to flex. Just let's do medium PR or uh, MX MR2. Is that what we have here? So we have Oh no, we do have padding. Hmm. I guess we could do that on the LI. That's probably where we need to do that. So when we're in medium, we want uh, padding right two, uh, which gives us the same sort of thing that we have here. Um, and then maybe for this last item, should be P, uh, PL. There we go. Things should be lined up a little better now. We could also probably up the font sizes here as well, but let's, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Um, so since we're already looking at some SVG stuff, um, I wanted to work on bringing in the logos. So we have an RSS icon, a Twitter icon, Google+, which I just heard is going away, yay, uh, Facebook, and GitHub. So for sure I want, um, I think I can get find Twitter, Facebook, and uh, GitHub using the simple icons package, uh, which I found this recently and I think it's 
pretty awesome. Let's see if I can open link. Um, it has a bunch of uh, brand icons. Let's see if there's an RSS. Uh, let's see that. Oh, yep, there is. So there's an RSS logo. Uh, so that's going to be good. And what we can do is actually pull it in with NPM. So let's go here and we'll yarn add simple icons. And then what we, we should be able to do is reference them. All right, so in our main JavaScript file, uh, we're going to need to do something with these. So let's get for JS. We need to require them. So require. And we need simple. Accounts. I think that's what we need to do. Let's double check here. Oh, no. So we don't need the at sign. I haven't figured out the at sign thing just yet. All right, so simple icons slash Twitter .js. I think we bring in the .js file. Actually, we don't bring it in. Um, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and then JS, uh, RSS. Um, let's see, what were the other ones we needed? So GitHub. So we want GitHub. What else? Let's see if they have Spotify. Cool. Apple. I think is that the Apple Podcast logo? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I guess it's just podcasts. And is there a Stitcher? There is. Is that So if we reload our watch, let's see what ends up in build, because before we had three files, hopefully we should have many more. Hmm. Or not. Let's get build. Uh, our manifest. Just has those two. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I think that's probably going to be fine. I don't know why I thought those would be in there, but I guess we don't. This would only be if we're trying to use these uh, as bundled versions, I believe. So that was a little bit of a waste. All right, so what we had before was SVG. Um, we had the SVG path set up. Where did we do that? I think that was in services. Base path. Yeah, so, um, so this ends up looking just there. Let's see, SVG extension. I wonder if I can specify multiple base paths. SVG extension. No. Hmm. So we need to figure out. All right. So I'm going to switch what we were doing here. Let's just do project dir. 
um, which means we reload. Let's make sure we're still watching. Yeah, so if we reload, this logo will vanish because it can't find it. So it can't find um, the directory, or it can't find it anymore because we hadn't assumed it was going to be in the subdirectory. So let's go to base SVG, that podcast logo. So we need to do assets SVG. And now it should work again. Cool. So now what we can do is more or less uh, copy what we had before up here. So inspect, let's copy these. All right, so here we have these class icon thingies, which we can use those uh, href equals px2. these little icon things aren't actually going to exist anywhere um, just yet. So we need to replace these with oh, actual calls to the SVG plugin. So this time we're looking in node modules. So this is one way that I would probably want to someday make it better. Um, someday make it better in here by making this extension more interesting. So we need node modules slash simple icons. See if that even works. Okay, and then icons. Cool. Oh, uh, iTunes RSS. So RSS to SVG. Let's see what we get here. Nothing. All right, well, let's give it a width then. So we'll do H4. Ah, now we got something, awesome. Okay, now we replicate this for the other pieces. There are only a, a few times where I wish I had multi-cursor support and things like this are when I, when I do. Okay, so uh, GitHub icons. So let's see, let's copy this. GitHub. This is going to be Facebook. going to drop Google Plus. So I'm 
kind of over it. Uh, for Twitter, uh, we've got IRSS already. Then we have Stitcher. Spotify. And then podcasts. And now we have them all. And so we have podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, RSS, Twitter, Facebook, and GitHub. Um, let's see what we have before. Looks about right. Um, I think I'm probably pretty happy with this for now. Let's see here. Now, what did we have at the bottom for our footer? Uh, we have the same bit of code. So I'm going to add this there also. Kind of HTML did we wrap this in? Uh, footer. Everything is off to the bottom there, and that's because of this. So we want list reset. We don't want it invisible, ever. Um, okay, and then maybe we'll do. We might actually want it flex. And then there's auto. Item center content center you. All right, let's head back to the flex stocks. Align self. Self auto. If I can do an inline flex container, and if margin auto will work with that. All right, so it did do that, but it didn't do margin auto. Uh, if we can wrap it in a div. When in doubt, why does that have a broken? Ah. Uh, can I 
to center. Do. Not the best way to do that, I don't think, but we'll call it good for now. I'll do PY8. Text white. Since these are SVGs fill, fill current. I can do that in here. Yes. Okay. Ultimately, we're going to need to do this in other places as well. There we go. And then let's make the whole footer. Uh, let's do DG black. There we go. Um, We're probably going to want to do something similar up here and make these all white as well, but not just yet. We'll leave that for now. Okay. Cool. So we have these things here. Let's see if there's a download button. No. What was what were we using before for that? might have just been, yeah, font awesome. So I'm going to copy as SVG formatted, SVG inline code, and then can't. All right. So assets SVG download icon. So for the download, That would actually be in home. Let's see, it's classes. Oops.
Okay. So let's see here. It's not lining up the way I'd want. So let's do. Oop. Let's go see what's up. I think what we might need to do here is no display lock. Sort of fixed this part, which I'm happy about. Uh, flex. But I don't like that it dropped it to the next line. Hmm. Well, it's not perfect at all, but I might just leave it like this for now. So we got the download link. Uh, we should do fill current. Yeah, because then it'll take whatever color it switches to based on the link. Um, but maybe I want the cloud, seeing how this looks now. Let's try that and see. Ah, you know what? I think I like that better. And then we can do some spacing here. Um, I think this this looks good. So what we did was played around with simple icons. Um, we did more work with the SVG uh, tweak extension um, and put icons in all the places that we had them previously on the site. So we had them across the top, across the bottom. Um, yeah, so I think this is good. I think this might actually be where we have to stop for now. So we did SVG bundle work again, uh, simple icons and logo. So the next things that I think we'll be working on is looking more at the individual episode pages to see if we can get more uh, interesting stuff on there. So if we look at what we have now, it's pretty basic. Um, I don't think it'll take very long to put some stuff on there. Um, and then uh, I'm going to start working on the security aspect. So right now we do have admin, I believe, but anybody can go there. So if we go to admin, uh, we do have the easy admin bundle set up, but we need to do something more interesting than this. So uh, mostly because I'm an anonymous user and it just let me in, um, which is fine for now because it's in dev mode. But once we start publishing this, it needs to be a little more robust than that. So thanks for joining. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, the episodes will be published later. Um, visit astrocast.com. You can join the chat. Uh, we have a Discord chat channel set up. Uh, so if anyone wants to join on that, uh, be happy to talk to you. Thanks.